Plans to demolish a memorial sanctuary in Sutherland Springs put on hold. It was the site of our state's deadliest mass shooting back in 2017. In 2021, church members voted to demolish the sanctuary, but family members of the victims are suing to stop that from happening. Ken's Five reporter Megan Reyna joins us now in studio after visiting the memorial earlier today. Megan? Well, tonight, community members and even people from around the area visited the sanctuary for what they were told would be the last time before demolition. But now it's unclear when the demolition was planned. But after a judge is ruling today regarding an ongoing lawsuit, the building should remain in place for the next two weeks. Now, today is Haley Kruger's birthday. She would have been 23 and her mother has been fighting to keep the building. Amber Holder and her teenage daughter consider themselves the voices for their survivors who want to keep the sanctuary from being torn down. Holder says she was at the church just moments after tragedy struck when 26 people were killed and 20 others hurt in November of 2017. It was very somber, uh, not knowing he was dead, he was still alive. In 2021, First Baptist members voted 69 to 35 to demolish the memorial. The holder claims the vote was unfair. She took legal action and filed this lawsuit in May, along with Deanna Staten, the daughter of two victims. They're demanding a revote. It was announced Sunday that this building was going to be demolished and that we have two half days to come and see it. The lawsuit alleges memberships were unfairly taken away and new members were allowed to vote, but some survivors and family of the victims were not. On Tuesday, a state district judge granted a request for a temporary restraining order to keep the sanctuary from being torn down for at least two weeks. I'm thankful that somebody's finally willing to listen. Even with the ruling, people still came out to say goodbye to a memorial that may or may not be gone soon. Personally, it's very heartbreaking because we all feel that their spirits are in there. It, it's, it's God's house and it's a memorial and I hope it can be fixed up and honored. And First Baptist Church leaders told me they had no comment regarding the lawsuit or the demolition. A hearing is set for July 15th where a judge will decide if the restraining order will be extended. Isis.